Hello my friends and welcome to Youth Potential, a channel dedicated to helping young people with mental health problems. I have two books available, 102 Distraction Techniques and Self-Harm to Self-Harmony. Both of these books are only available on Amazon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hello my friends, Scott here representing Youth Potential. Thank you very much guys for voting on this video. This video uh, received 222 votes and this particular video got 53% of those votes, so it was a clear winner. Uh, I didn't think this one was actually going to win, personally. I thought it was going to be uh, when you've both got mental illness in a relationship, it was going to win. But nonetheless, I was wrong. So let's get on with the video. Right, I'm going to split this video into about two different kind of sections, basically. Uh, the first one is about um, finding someone, like a potential partner. And the second part is going to be about maintaining a relationship. I just want to point out, I'm no expert when it comes to relationships. Um, however, I, I will say that the vast majority of my relationships have been quite long term. I've always been like a kind of long term stick to it kind of person. I've never really given up easy. Um, most of the people I've been with, I've been for a relatively long time. Um, I'm only 29 years old, so I think I've had maybe five or six long lasting relationships, but over a course of years, pretty much. So, yeah, I like I think I've got something to, to share that's worth sharing with you guys to help you guys out. So anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So finding someone. If you're someone who struggles with anxiety, um, online dating apps or websites, definitely the way to go forward. Definitely the way to go. Um, you don't have to worry about that whole responding and talking face to face. You don't have to worry about being awkward or whatever you know that that kind of stuff is all hidden and they're just getting messages it's a hell of a lot easier uh, most people meet through online dating apps these days whether you want to use a free one or pay for one it's up to you um, if you want to find someone who has got uh, ment other mental health problems or disabilities there are specific websites for that um, I have browsed through a couple of them, not to find someone, but just out of pure research. Um, there are websites like that that you can that you can check out. Um, you're gonna have to Google it. I don't have links to any of them. I'm afraid, sorry. Um, but this video is more about uh, you having a mental illness and trying to find someone or maintain a relationship with someone who doesn't have mental illness. Um, yeah, so online dating, absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just think it's a lot easier. Uh, one rule that I would like you guys to stick to, and it's the same rule that I have for myself, is you do not have to disclose your disorders or mental health problems or your health conditions whatsoever with anyone. Just like a job application, you, you just there's no obligation to do that. Um, what I would personally do is get to know them, okay? Get to know them and maybe, you know, meet up with them when you're at that stage, if you know, you've know you spoken to them, get to know them, find out their interests. Um, just, yeah, just get to know each other online first. And when you've met each other a couple of times, when you are ready, that's when you can tell them about your mental health problems. If you want to, of course. Um, I personally think you should disclose it at some point, um, but there is no real right time for it. There's no measurable way of saying this is the right time to Tell them about your past in that aspect. I think only you will know when that is right. Okay. Um, I'm quite fortunate that my partner, Carla, um, we both have mental health problems and it was very easy to talk about in the beginning. Um, but in the past, I've kind of waited till I felt comfortable with the person that I'm seeing before I've actually opened up about it. Um, yeah, I th there's, there's not there's not really a lot I can say about it, to be honest. I think it's just a case of you getting to know each other. And then when you feel the time is right, like, you know, it's on your own terms, that's when you can say, look, I've, I actually suffer with borderline personality disorder. I suffer with depression, uh, anxiety, bipolar, et cetera, et cetera. OK, um, that will be difficult. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, you may feel embarrassed about it. You may think, oh, what are they going to say about me? What are they going to think about me? Now, just the one thing I want you to remember at this time, OK, I know it's hard opening up about mental illness, especially to someone that is a potential partner. You know, you, you take a liking to someone 
and you want it to go really well, okay? And that's absolutely fine. You're you're human. That's natural. You know, you want someone to be interested in you. You want someone to to care about you, to um, possibly love you, okay? But you've also got to be prepared for the fact that some people aren't understanding. They're not open-minded enough. They can't empathise. Um, and when that time comes and you want to talk to them and open up about your past or your current situation involving mental illness, that they might be, I don't want to say put off, I just want to say, you know, kind of shocked maybe, or just, they might not even know how to react to it, okay? They might be like, oh, okay. Um, and you've got to prepare yourself for the fact that they, that could be the end of you two kind of seeing each other, okay? And that's not your fault. That is absolutely not your fault. But you've also got to remember that for you to be in a successful relationship with someone, like, you know, you, you're building up that trust, that loyalty, you're taking an interest in each other in, in the beginning, you're going to want to be with someone who can respect you and accept you and care about you no matter what kind of illness you have, whether it's physical or mental, okay? If they, if you're, you know, seeing each other and you open up about things and they can't, they just can't accept it, they're, they're not right for you, okay? They don't deserve you, you know, they're not right for you, they don't deserve you, and you need someone who can, who can give you more than that, okay? If I was with, say for example, my partner, Carla, um, she didn't have mental illness, and I told her about my past and all that, and she was disgusted by it, I'd be like, no, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be with you, you know? I need someone who can, who cares about me, who likes me f for me, and that's what you need, okay? They may be the most attractive person in the world. They may be the funniest person in the world. They may have a great job, great income. They may just be awesome and you love everything about them, you know, and you think that's the person that I want to be in a relationship with for the rest of my life. But if they can't accept you for who you are and your, your illness, they're not good for you, okay? You don't need someone like that. And you can't force someone to accept you, okay? That's... Either they will accept you or they won't. And that's that's their problem, not yours. OK, it's you. I'm sorry, it's them, not you. OK. So if you can open up to your potential future partner and they can accept that and they're like, OK, that's fine. That's, well, that, you know, it just doesn't bother them or they want to, you know, they, they like you enough that it they're willing to work with it and accept it and you know they want to be with you then that's great okay and that's the kind of person that you do want to be with someone who's accepting of you the rest of you know dating them and getting to know them that's 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 entirely up to you I mean I can't tell you what to do just other than be yourself and take an interest in them people don't like oh it's me 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 you know they You've, you've you've got to talk to them about them. Ask them, just like you know, what get to know them. That's that's what the whole process is, okay? Um, and if they take an interest in you, and they can accept you for who you are, then you know, just take it slowly. See how things go. You know, who knows what could happen? Don't. If you're like me, you know, you put your heart and soul into this person that takes an interest in you. Um, just, just be careful, okay? Just don't don't jump all the, the hurdles okay just just try and take it slowly it's great that they're taking an interest in you but you could learn more about them as time goes on and you don't like them um they do stuff that you don't like okay and you don't want to disappoint yourself okay yeah that's that's all i can say on that so what about um maintaining a relationship so maintaining a relationship there is only one true key to that doesn't matter if you've got mental illness or or not and that's open and honest communication okay you probably already knew that anyway just any relationship with anyone whether it's a, a partner you know lover kind of relationship or it's a friendship or a family or working relationship you know open and honest communication it's that's that's the thing that builds up loyalty that's the thing that enables you guys to girls whatever 
for you to know each other, okay? They, whether you're in a relationship and then mental illness kicks in or whether you've got mental illness in the start of the relationship, you, your partner cares about you and they want to help and support you, okay? That's just what, that's what relationships are about, you know, that love, that care. You can't afford to push them out, no matter how dark your thoughts and feelings are and how negative they are, you can't afford to push them away, all right? If, when my partner, when, when Carla's down, you know, and that, she doesn't try and push me away, but she really sometimes struggles to communicate to me and I have to keep digging and digging and digging and eventually I, I can get to a level of understanding. You know, your partner may not do that because they don't understand the psychology of how your illness works, okay? So that's why you've got to do your, you've got to open up to them, okay? And if you're not ready to open up to them straight away, and I've said this before about opening up to people about mental illness in general, is that to say to them, look, I'm really struggling at the moment. I really do need your support. I just, I can't quite talk about it at the moment, but I promise I will let you in. I will open up to you. I will share with you what's going on in my head. I'm just not ready to right now. Please be patient. I promise I will open up to you, okay? That's all. That's not all there is to it, but that is like the foundation of how you're going to maintain a relationship and you or someone who lives with mental illness you've got to you've got to go to them and say look i'm struggling please i need i need that help okay if they're trying to understand you because they love and care about you you can't push them away they will feel that rejection and that's gonna eventually make them maybe either dislike themselves or resent you or question their capabilities to be a good partner, you know, and that's when friction starts happening, things become a bit unstable, and, you know, you start biting at each other and being bitter towards each other. And then the fun, the love, the, you know, that warm, fuzzy feeling, it starts to fade away. And eventually there's a communication breakdown and then relationships just fizzle out. You know, it's not good. All because you were too either stubborn or afraid to open up, okay? They're your partner. They want to know everything about you, okay? They they want to be there for you and you've got to let them in no matter how shitty things are. You have got to let them in, okay? I know it's hard opening up. I know it's hard to let people in, especially the ones you love, but you have got to do it, okay? And the rest, the rest of the relationship is just, just like anything, you know, spend time together, have fun together, you know, be there for them as well, okay? They may not have mental illness, but you've got to be there for them when they fall down as well. You've got to be ready to pick them up. Um, just do what you love, you know, and be selfless from as much as you can, you know, just, yeah, have fun, just, just do what you got to do, you know, take an interest in them, listen to them. And you know, that's a key one, another key as well, listen to them, okay? Okay, guys, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I tried to cover as much as I could without going on too much. Um, I've just put in the key points to what I think is the key to um, successful relationships and, um, you know, building up that potential relationship with someone in the first place. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. All the best. Bye.